Daniel, I have some questions to ask you just to open up this episode. Oh, okay. Um, unconventional. What are, yeah. Okay, though. What are the... Well, welcome, everyone. W questions, though. Well, let's see. What would be the most surprising scientific discovery that you can imagine? Uh... Huh. Or what would be the title of your autobiography? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I know the subtitle is a sonic story, but... Yeah, that right now it sure feels like it. <laughs> like, I guess the main title would be, I'll have to get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, say you're independently wealthy and don't have to work. What would you do with your time? <laughs> uh, that's We both know the answer. <laughs> do you like these icebreaker questions I have for you? I, yes, I'm actually enjoying them quite a bit. Ah, good icebreaker questions. Welcome back, everyone. It's Playframe. It's Spirit Fair. We're breaking the ice. We are, because we're going to get an icebreaker, you see. We are. Those were good icebreaker questions. Good job. I try. So, in order to get the icebreaker and the other thing we wanted to get, which is, I think was an upgraded, like, blueprint table or whatever, I think we need um, linens and stuff. And you're linens pretty good at that. Linens and things. Linens and things. Uh, yes. We need, like, wool cloth and linen cloth, I think. More wool cloth and linen, but, you know. Okay. Uh, do you want to work on that while I do the other boat chores? Let's see if I can. I will try. Okay. How about that? Um, I linen, believe. Red and you said linen and what? Uh, we need like a couple linen cloths and I think like a bunch of wool cloths. Okay, so we've got some linen fiber and we've got some linen thread. What if I use the linen thread? Will this work? Okay. We'll find out. Um, there you go. It does. You made a it thing. It does. I remember how to weave. <laughs> We've been in a weird situation where, like, usually we record, like, uh, Every Spirit other Fair week. and such. We, like, record in, a, in a batches of at least two. We've kind of been in a situation where we've had to do isolated ones <laughs> here and there for various reasons. So we're coming back with a little bit of rust every time, which is not ideal, but it's fine. It's a chill game. We're also, I mean, this is me we're talking about. And I'm always a little bit slow on game controls. Once I get them down, I'm usually okay. But every time I come back into a game, it's like, okay, remember how you learned this. Or as soon as you see like a fish or a bird, it seems to come back what? to you pretty instantaneously. Now listen. <laughs> <laughs> the natural ac acrobatics of my people being cats, not actually people. That has nothing to do with anything. Um, okay. Linen thread, wool thread. So we got a lot of thread now. How do we get... I've already done it. Oh, okay. We've got some. We've got a little bit of... Oops, I hit the wrong button. Oh, good. We got um, a lot of that. I, I thought for some reason we needed, like, cloth or something, but... Yes, we do. Oh, okay. But I've already made some. Oh, okay. I just kept... For some reason, I was thinking that we would see the cloth in that menu, but no, of course not. Those are the materials for making it, and... Okay, I'm, I'm caught up. I was just, uh... See? There's the cloth. Yay, there it is. I made, I think, five linen cloths. That should do and it. And that's wool. Was that right? Yes. Is that what we needed? Yes, and we've needed awesome. a good bit of it, too. Uh, this is definitely looking like it's going to do it for us. Hooray. I'm useful. Which, Indeed as a are. cat, is not something I get to say often. Yeah, quite out of character. Kaylee, that shade is thrown very much at you, who have come to sit down on my lap twice in the five minutes we've been playing already. <laughs> now what, Cat, why don't you work the loom? Right? Be productive. Help. Oh, good. I got out. I am free. You've done it. And it's bell ringing bow, time. Bow, 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 bow. Good morning, everyone. Bird. Did you see it? There was a bird. <laughs> Did, was there a bird? I didn't see the bird. Love me. Hug me. Love me. Oh, yes. Hug that's me. right. You, I bet you can get hug a hug me. this time. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. It good is morning. a good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hugs. You can do. You better. You better. <gasps> there. There you go. A hug brightens my day. <laughs> now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, you look so day bright. So... You're looking sad. Are you hungry? What's going on? Let's see. Oh. How do I check their mood? Uh, there you there. go. There we go. Uh, doesn't like a tool's banging and is hungry. Okay, well, we can take care of one of those things. All right. I can help you with this. I am a cat, and I can help you. You. <laughs> yuck. You. Well, mm, that might work. That mm. might work. Shellfish stew. What kind of Not food? Bad. Oh, hey, we figured out um, what... Grilled fish. Uh, oh. It's plain, though. It's plain, though. I feel like, yeah, fancy is going to be the way. Acquired taste. 
Mm. You know what? You get the grilled fish. Have Sorry, fish. friend. Mm-hmm. This is really good, Munchkin. You know, I'm a simple person. <laughs> <laughs> And simple people love plain dishes. <laughs> if there's one thing you've got to know about simple people. <laughs> simple food. <laughs> and this is exactly it. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I told you I'm a cat. Sandwich. I know my people. I love that sandwich. Um, plain food. Likes yep. plain food. Okay, so that Ooh. wasn't a lie. That's good. Hey, we figured out what Astrid is, by the way. Or I looked it up, rather. Astrid's a lynx. 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 Look up pictures of lynxes. They're cute. Yeah, they're, like they're big, very cute. Thick, sort of weird cats. Thick, like 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 a cat that's wearing paws that are three times too big. For yeah, it. like legs and paws way too big. It's so cute. With little ear tufts. Every every lynx looks like teenage Sora to me. <laughs> yeah, there is something about like very teenage big cat about them that's yeah. very fun. It's great. It's so great. I enjoy and they've it. got the little tufts on their ears. Yeah. There's a lot to like. They're very strange creatures in general. They look sort of made up, like the sort of alien yeah. cat that you'd see on a, a Star Trek episode. Like if you take the face of a house cat and stick it on a lion's body. Yeah. Hello there. <gasps> oh, hello, oh. my tooth friend. Oh, yes. Actually, you know what? Stop the episode. You've just reminded me of a thing. So this yes. whole time you've been really desperately wanting to bite and chew on the shark, which is not going to do because we need the shark to fix up her boat. And yes, I know you really expect that sort of chewy, squeaky texture from this shark bite you should not do. And so in order to try to distract you or at least provide you what, with what you are wanting, mm-hmm. I have gotten you a thing. Really? Like an actual real life. This will not be very good for the viewers, but I've gotten you a real thing. And it's a little larger than I thought it was oh going my. to be. It's a bag. Um, I like what I'm seeing. I'm going to open the bag. Sorry, again, this is terrible radio, so sorry, everyone. Just it's sit tight. It's a bag that's about five by eight. Nah, maybe eight by ten. The important thing is what is inside the bag. What is inside the bag? Uh, Ow! You... It bit me! It, Ow! It, Ow! It, it most certainly <laughs> it did not. did not. But it could have. I have gotten you gummy sharks. There are gummy sharks in that. This is dangerous. This could have bit me. Um, shark bites are not a laughing matter. <laughs> they aren't actual shark bites. I looked for that first. Turns out those don't exist anymore. Or they do, but like not the same ones that were out when we were kids. However, these are... Perfect. Good. They're gu- they're It's gummies, candy, but it's sharks. And they're blue and white. And they're cute. That's... And we're not going to do ASMR by eating them into the microphones. Yeah, we should probably finish doing these and stop. But... Just so you know, now you don't have to bite the shark. Oh my gosh, I can bite these sharks. Mm-hmm. You're really, really clever. Like, that's really a good idea. Clever enough to come up with the idea and not clever enough to then think about, oh good, chewing gummies into a microphone. <laughs> so I didn't really think about <laughs> step two. I like half clever. I mean... Anyway. <laughs> This is a great distraction, though. <laughs> That's fantastic to hear. We have too big of a bag of them because I didn't see. It's hard to tell how big a bag is on the internet. It I once had a friend who cut his own toe. Uh, controller, did you? Okay. He had a new one made of rubber. He was called Roberto. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I love my shark friend. <laughs> it's a good shark friend. We're uh, okay. teeth friends. We like biting. We can get two things now, and I'm excited about it. One of them, well, we also need to check the l- glims cost. I think we can get both. Just in, like between these Break two, what do we want most? Ice. Icebreaker. Break Got it. Icebreaker. Ice. Okay. Then we yes. can go to the place we can't get to right That's now. That's true. That Yeah, that this will get us more stuff, I think. So, icebreaker. We have it now on our boat. Hooray. And then we can also just afford the uh, upgrade. Oh, no, we need iron ingots. We need one more iron ingot. Mm. Hang on. Back to the boat. Shark, friend, Wait, come up with one more we, joke for me real quick. Okay. Do we have four iron ingots? I think. Iron ores? Oh, uh, boy, I wonder, actually. Let's check. I thought you made them all. I th- mm, you may be right. Wow, why are you all gathered here? This is suspicious. Are you waiting for food? Are you all hungry? I think they're making plans, yeah. I don't know what y'all are up to, but I'm suddenly suspicious. Well, I have a lot of coal... Who's hungry? Mm-hmm. She's doing pretty well. Okay, well, she's good. Uh, she's are you hungry, good? Right? Yeah, you could eat something. I can hug her, though. Let's give you... I know it's not pork chops. We're still working on how that's Thank possible. Thank you, honeybee. Uh, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. Steamed shellfish. 
I know you do love food, buddy. You enjoy. Good. Oh, oh, oh. Alice needs food. Oh, yes. Mm, old fashioned old food fashioned or food. desserts. Shellfish stew. I don't know if she's had it recently. I don't either. We've got a couple of desserts, though, so we'll start her with some shellfish. Oh, okay, ah, so we yes. did do that last. Okay. Good to know. Sure, we can do. I'll check in here while you're, uh, nope, wrong. Poached fruit. Let's give you a slice of your own apple pie. <laughs> uh, oh, you're right. We're short one iron. She just called me by, she just called me Stella. Oh, that's, uh. A Alice. <laughs> Alice. Guess maybe you can't see so good, and we are both kind of lavender or whatever this color is now. Daffodil. <laughs> Say it with me. The fuzzy Daffodil. one. Daffodil. Daff. Daffodil. <laughs> Daffodil. Daffodil. All right, we need to go somewhere where Where's we can get. Where's Atul? Did he go into the kitchen? Uh, I think he went upstairs, somewhere. Atul, you need your food. Oh, I gave I gave Atul food. Oh, you need your hugs. Does need hugs probably. Sheep, you need Atul. not to have. So much fur. Yes. You, oh, and you also need food. Goodness. Have corn. A tool. I am not your niece. <sighs> you know what? Everyone's so confused. Hello, my name is Stella. I am a cat. <laughs> yes, we are Stella the human and Stella the cat. Keeping things simple. Yes, cat Stella is done with her chores. Very good. Okay. Wee, wee. Well, let's go somewhere where we can get some medals so we can... uh get this sorted. Maybe we can go somewhere where the ice is to get medals. Heck, I don't know. I could medal. You could medal. I like to medal. Uh, alright. I also like to here? eat those sharks. Oh good, I'm glad you liked. They taste like raspberries, by the way. Like, not, Kinda, yeah. not like raspberries. Sorry, they taste like raspberry. The blue raspberry. The mm, candy raspberry. Yeah, that makes sense. They are blue. White and blue. Yep. Hey, so there's mines past the ice. Mines. Let's go do mines. I need to get us to a bus stop. That's probably the fastest way to uh, yeah. get places. There's a bus stop right there. Where are we right now? You know, we're... Oh, we're oh, down. Oh, the shark. Of course. Of course. Uh, here we go. Alex. We need a bus ride. <gasps> and we haven't seen you in a while. I too am very excited to see Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. It has Alex, been too Alex, long. Alex, 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 Alex. It's a time for bus stop, Alex. Yeah. And as long as we're going, I'm curious. Like, we've got a bigger boat now. Like, how much bigger are we talking if we were building things? Whoa, okay. Hey, we got some space. Heck yeah. Oh my. Right? Like, we don't have new things to we build yet. We can be yet. more efficient. Well, no, we do have things. We don't have stuff for them, but we can build a windmill when we get there. We can be more efficient. We don't have to leave big gaping holes in our space. Also true. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Also an orchard. And, yeah, the orchard and the windmill are, like, the two things. Also... Can you imagine? Will the orchard give us trees on the boat? Oh, I bet it will. Or fruit? Or fruit yeah, trees? Fruit. Yeah, it looks like a fruit will go there. Hooray! I guess if we chop down the trees, then it wouldn't be a very good orchard. <laughs> mm, yeah. It would and work less good, probably. Alex! Alex. You're amazing. You're my hero, Alex. My so good hero. to see you again, Alex. <laughs> I can't remember what was happening. That like, I think it was saying goodbye to Gwen, and Alex just wouldn't shut up. Yeah, no, Alex kind of barged in, so we're in the middle of Gwen's... <laughs> Uh, monologue. It was just Alex honk honk going in the background. So good. <laughs> I loved it. I did too. It was very good. Instant favorite. Yep. Oh. Sorry, we're, I'm just taking us up to a other bus stop. That's fine. I was just looking around the boat for scallops, but I think I got them all. Alex, you're beautiful. So Thank elegant. Thank you, Alex. <gasps> Yay. Ah, so cool. Wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Gonna Alex, go hang with your friend. Talk to me. Tell me your secrets. Tell me how to be as amazing as you are. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll never be as amazing as Alex is. Well, no, no. <sighs> Follow your dreams. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, right. We're, we're going to a place. We are going I to a place. This place I specifically. Probably get back in the boat, huh? Probably, because we're gonna break through some ice. And the boat's well more equipped for that than you are. You don't know that. 
I might be excellent at breaking the ice. I did I have see if it all happens. those questions. You <laughs> That's know? That's true. You've been practicing. The colors are good. Oh, oh look, Daniel. Whoops. Now we're pink. <laughs> we are were, quite pink. You were calling us pink before, but we were clearly purple. Now we're pink. Quite so. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Could you stay at the boat? <laughs> trying to stand in the very edge, okay? It's important. There you go. I'm the mast... Masthead? Whoa. Um, <laughs> I'm living dangerously at the edge of the boat. That you are. Goodness. <laughs> you all right, boat? Boat's good. Boat's got this. It's so pink out here. It's so pink. I like it. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. The reflection of the clouds, it's so peaceful. <sighs> I do love this game. The sunset was actually kind of these colors today. Uh, what, like real life one? Yeah, the real life one. Huh. It had a lovely like peach to blue gradient going on. Been a while since I looked outside. I know. <laughs> Same. <laughs> hey, I hope you have at least one piece of iron. It's what I need. Please give us the iron. Let's go check it out. Oh, wait. Oh, we should water things, shouldn't we? Or plant things. Plotter things? Both. Let's see. Lettuce, carrots, turnips. Got a lot of carrots. Let's plant those. Hey, I want to cut the thing. Shink. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes. And green seeds. Lots of linen seeds. We're planting tea. Very good. Tea and carrots. Water the tea, and then it will <laughs> brew. This is not how you make tea. <laughs> I'm making tea. All Did right. you see me make the tea? I'm very good at it. Let's explore Birds. a new island. Ah, darn it. There we go. Birds! I saw them. You <laughs> took me from them. You get in the boat. We're going Give to an island. Give me the birds I'm back. not giving you the birds. <laughs> Gotta earn the birds. Shark. <laughs> oh. Hello. Excuse me, shark. Oh, oh sorry. I'll give, give you a shark. <laughs> Here's a shark. Thank you. You're sort of on your way to becoming a seal. You're sort of like, I'm giving you a little like fish rewards. <laughs> <laughs> and you're clapping. So yeah, well, you're well on your way to being an Alex. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Oh, wait one second here. You can't be here. This mine has been abandoned for 40 years. Oh. You can't just waltz in there. You don't have the proper credentials. One, two, but I three. love the attitude. One, two, I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. One, you just need some training. I went to school for this job, you know. Oh. I suppose, yeah, you rob him while I keep him distracted. <laughs> I suppose if you went out and got said training, I could deputize you. That'd work actually. I break once in a while. A break once in a while does sound nice. Oh. Listen, go out there and trade for this job. Double jump, glide, zip line around. You need to be able to do all that before I make you part of the team. Mm. I'll see you around, future recruit. No, so we just need more obbles to learn more abilities, because we got double jump. We don't have glide. Look at me double jump. Nor Look do we at have me glide. Line. Goodness, there's a lot of I'm more stuff. I'm gliding all over the place. It's a lot more movement stuff than I was aware. Listen. Existed. I'm very good. You are very good. At my job. Let me in. Hmm. Let me I guess we're going to a different Yen. mine then. <laughs> hmm. Boo. Why should we go instead? I guess to bed. <laughs> it's late. We'll go to bed and figure this out in the morning. I like how I teleport up there. I like that too. It makes it easier because I don't have to fight with the doors. I think we might have some mail. I think I saw that pop up. Listen, doors are hard when you're a cat. That's true. Our cats have a lot of trouble with doors. They scream about it often enough. They sure do. I guess their solution to the door problem is to make the doors our problem. <laughs> the solution to every problem our cats have is to make it our problem. That's true. 
<laughs> Kaylee has started meowing at me to get picked up so she can sit on my lap at my desk because she doesn't want to jump the foot and a half it would take to land on my lap. What a cat. Hmm. It's okay. really cute. It is very cute. Let's see. We so need to go somewhere that's mine. So there's a down here. Iron. I can't remember where. Specifically. So this has copper. Copper and coal and slate. Uh, limestone, copper... There was also somewhere we got some iron from, I thought, over on the right-hand side of the screen. Here's oh, wait. Some. There's iron ore yeah, there. Yeah, let's go here. Heck, we can go here first? Have we been there? I don't think we've been here. No, we have. We have. have. It's a question mark, though. Haven't we? Let's find out. I thought that was the island that had cherry trees on it. I think mm, I think that was a different one. And well. we did a tour? I but think it's... that was a different one. Yeah, I think it was a different one because this okay. is really near the border of our explorer's yeah. base. Let me out, let me out. Let oh, yeah, out. you gotta ring the bell. Bell! Bell! Uh, oh, and you got the mail. For... Bell! All that matters is bell! That's true. So the thing said Furugawa Tours, which is actually where we're headed, so this is convenient. Oh. Uh, we do have a brochure. Here we go. Open. We had that brochure. Greetings from Furugawa. Hmm. Experience the wonders of the great outdoors. You can now take a tour of the city, see the shops, visit our shrine, take in the sights. Available now in Furugawa. See, cool. I think we've been there, but it wasn't all open. Hmm, maybe you're right. Uh, Alice, Alice, yeah, Alice. Yeah, you're right. This one's for Alice, Furugawa hi. tours I'm also. Too. Hmm. And Stella too. Oh, yes. Yeah, Stella oh. and Stella too at your service. Oh. No oh. cooking in here. I wanted to say hello. She does have something for us. She went and did a cook. What do you have? I'll talk to... to... Here, Stella, I baked something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. It's a fisherman's pie. Mm. Cool. Ooh. What's that? I know who will like that. Oh, yes. I think you ah, do. Ah, it's old-fashioned, not plain. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, summer's singing. Oh, yay. And it's snowing out here. That's nice. I kind of want to call... Um, shoot. Name. Shoot. What's the name? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, the Lynx. Uh, Astrid. Astrid. I kind of want to call her, her bluff and give her this bisque because it's seafood soup, but it's also fine dining. And I want her to be like, oh, that's delicious. Oh, no, it's not plain. I feel, yeah, something tells me that she will enjoy fine dining. Want me to try it? Yeah, go for it. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I can't accept this. This is way too fancy for me. Dang. Fine dining is a concept I can't get behind. You'll have to deal with it. <laughs> you know what? Good for you. I had kind of suspected Standing that you weren't actually principles. going to stand by. <laughs> like when push came to shove, I wasn't 100% certain, but good on you. So I have given Astrid a very haughty voice. But that does not necessarily mean that Astrid is a haughty character. That's true. I guess that sort of did, like, color our impression. The, she is very much into the um, fisherman's pie, though. Oh, well, good. I guess it's the posture it sort of conveys a certain mm -hmm. sense of, like... Oh, it brightens my day. There's a sort of there's noble... A reg yeah, like, noble regalness, which does not necessarily yes. mean haughtiness. It's just they can <laughs> coexist, but they don't have to. Yeah. Oh, all right. New place. Furugawa discovered. You're right that we did get the brochure before earlier, though. We did have one of those already. Yeah. So we just didn't make it out here yet. Oh, Summer, you need to get some salad or something. Rice pudding? You might like that. That's possible. Yeah, it could work. Uh. Wait. Oh. I'm sorry. Rice must be a lot more alive here than it, was, than it is in our world. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't know there was anything in rice pudding that was... I mean, you could do it without... No, that's fine. How tool do you need food? We need more... vegetarian things. Ah, good. She'll take the... She does like dessert. fruit. Uh... I just don't want to feed her nothing but salad. Nothing but, like, the mushroom salad. Because that's... almost all we've got right now. Yeah. We haven't done any new food cooking in a little while. Have you fed an Alice? Uh, oh, wait, I didn't hug my summer. I'm okay. sorry. Alice is fed. I don't know if you've been hugged yet, though. So, a hugs. Oh. Did you hug oh, a wait, tool? Oh, wait, no way. You've been hugged. I have not hugged a tool. Do you want to hug a tool? Oh, she said not now, please. Okay. Everyone needs food and hugs. Oh, good on hugs, I guess. All right, All then. All right. 
we just have to make sure that everyone always has their food and hugs. Mm -hmm. That's all I just care about. It's that. important. I want our friends to be happy. Me too. And I'm proud of them when they can tell us no, because that's important too. Yes, I do appreciate that. Sometimes we don't know what's in the rice pudding, and it's nice for them to tell us. <laughs> I guess, like... I guess we did make it. We should know, but... Technically, <laughs> that was pudding ago. might have egg. That could be. Or dairy. Probably egg, as like a stiffener, like mm -hmm. custard does. But you could use um, something like uh, agar agar, which is a seaweed-based gelatin. Oh. And... That would thicken it in a way that oh. wouldn't be, that would still be vegetarian. Hello to you too. Oh, well. <laughs> Where's my brother? He should be here. I like that you all match the space. Nice mm -hmm. and pink. Is very, there anything in here? Very lovely. I'm exploring your house. I'm stealing things from your house. There's nothing in here. I stole it all. Ooh. Eh. Ooh. Owl up there. Oh, is there an owl up there? Oh, there's an owl, an up, owl there. up there. See, we've been here before. I don't think we have. It didn't we've say discovered. We've been somewhere that had an owl statue before. We did. I think we have been to a similar, uh, similar island. Mm. The same island. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sure of it. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, and a new guest. My goodness. Ooh. Oh, what impeccable timing. I'm in dire need of assistance. Is this one a Cthulhu? Um, boy, look that would be quite look an addition at all to the our tendrils. boat. I'm guessing a bird. Uh, a Cthulhu bird, yes. A, a Cth yes, a Cthulhu a bird. A deep sea like, Cthulhu bird. <laughs> like in a Cthulhu clock. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell from your friendly and familiar <laughs> face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Uh -huh. And every hour it pops out and goes, Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. <laughs> or to speak some maddening t words that it sends everyone spiraling. <laughs> Listen, I'm not looking. I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Ushiro period, and as such, are invaluable. I found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. I'm certain it's in this very village. Furthermore, I'm absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper Theodore, but he refuses to even acknowledge ex its existence. What an irksome little man, raccoon, Tanuki, whatever he is. But with your help. Yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude. My non-threatening attitude? Yes, they, they, you must be referring to you. Well, I'm sure you can schmooze your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper, I can't wait. Say that again when you're a bird. I'll show you my <laughs> non-threatening attitude. Or that will, uh... Bird! That really will bird! be a, a whole twist on this situation. Bird! <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Oh, a visitor. Welcome to the world-renowned Furugawa Tours. The tour will begin shortly. It takes about five minutes and covers the rich history of this city. After, you'll have so many anecdotes about this place, you'll be the life of the party if you, you ever attend one. Ready? Yes. Ready for tour. Yes. Perfect. For deep history of Tem. Let's I mean, start right away. Tour. I mean, Furugawa. A powerful symbol. Erected to keep evil spirits away and bless this island for future generations. You can sometimes see islanders stop by this tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother, their sick child, past lovers. Legend does say that they have heard it talk sometimes. Another piece of this island's rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss. Some say I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter, as long as I can carry on doing these tours. <laughs> hmm. well, at least you're happy. I like your walk. I'm trying to give a tour. <laughs> I like your tree. I do like the trees. A fair distance, please. Oh. <laughs> right, right. They want us close, but not too close. Gotcha. Ah. Since this is a vibrant city, we have a raccoon ink location. Considered, the, considered by most to be the finest source of materials and wares. It is also, coincidentally, the only merchant business in town. Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are a staple of a thriving economy. A fun little fact, anyone who joins Raccoon Inc. must legally change their name to Theodore. <laughs> I suppose it's a way to honor their founder. <laughs> Truly a sign of devotion. <laughs> I myself do not shop at this particular establishment. I make my own clothes and furniture. This isn't particularly noteworthy, but it is a small tidbit in your tour guide life. <laughs> oh, pork! Sells pork! Buy pork! 
Well, not don't spend all our money on pork. Sorry. Because we do also need. Did well, I buy no, too much pork? No, you exactly the amount that I'm sure Atul wants. Uh, click left bumper real fast for me. Or is that where the pork was? No, that's where the pork was. I thought he was supposed to have one of the, the other piece. I think maybe you need to talk with him about it. Oh, but maybe you're right. Also, should I grab an apple seed? Uh, while hmm. we're here. Can can we sell here? Because that depends on like that'll. Yeah. Okay, good. Then yeah, well, we can. I make... mean, there is a sell thing. Yeah, that, that's all I needed to know. As long as we can sell some stuff and uh, make some money uh, for whatever we need to buy, then yeah, 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 buy some apples. Tour guide will be there in a minute. Just doing some merchandise. Yeah, I just bought one. That's fine. That's I do fine. love that happy little, <laughs> that Alice, happy little cheer. Alice, eat some food. Eat some food. I th um, wait, I, I thought I fed her something. Maybe I didn't. She's acting hungry oh. still. Oh. Maybe she wasn't hungry when you saw her, and she became hungry when she that got to the island. That might be the case. Yep. So you, sorry, tour guide, just sit talk, uh, talk, sit tight. Well, hello there, customer. It is our is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Oh, why, oh yes. a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. I sat in my it sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this pedantic person, very rude. And worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print. Gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered me some serious coin for it. Oh no! And that lady, let me tell you, she was loaded. <laughs> anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Hmm, we need to find a walrus lady. <laughs> have we? We haven't encountered one, have we? I don't think so. None that I remember. Anyway, sorry, the tour. Yeah, I can't, I don't think it. Maybe uh, our friend may know. Uh, the uh, the friend may have seen the walrus and may be able to tell us where to go. Mm. This shrine was built using only the finest metals. From the ashes of the past guardian tower, these shrines tell the story of our past. And that story is, give me a second. I'm not sure actually, <gasps> which is why it's so important. In my forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of this shrine. The moral being, of course, always remember your heritage. Oh, a powerful thought. Mm. That's Let's really move cool. On. It's also an obble offering place. It is. We need. Obble offering. We need obbles. All right. Hey, this hey concludes you. our tour. Give us your obble, please. Furugawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Mm. Thank you again. A gratuity is expected if you enjoyed the tour. You can't have my ears. Does fifty glim sound fair? Mm. Yes. Amazing. I knew you had an educational spirit. Thank you for believing in my teaching aptitudes. You got it. Did you hear them? Huh? They said thank you for your time and your ears. They wanted to take my ears. Well, they can't have your ears. I know they can't have my ears. That's what I said. Good thing we didn't bring Astrid. They'd really see Astrid's ears and be all like <laughs> super excited. Ah, right? we need to get the thing where we can glide. Oh, yeah. You're right. I bet you that's what this place gives. Ooh, it might be actually. Yeah, I hadn't thought that we might get different rewards for obbles at different places. Uh, Blobble. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. We have enough for that. What? We're going to glide now. I couldn't do that. <laughs> Just because I'm a cat and not a person doesn't mean I'm less of a person. <laughs> I mean, except in the ways that it does mean I'm less of a person. <laughs> well, you can glide like a person rainbows. anyway. Rainbows. <laughs> do you see the rainbows? I do. And your oh, tipos. Sorry. I often see rainbow halos around lights at nighttime and no one else sees them, and I think I'm going crazy <laughs> because I see rainbows, but those you could see. So, when in the air, hold A to glide. Win the hat. Whee. How do you glide? I want to see um, how you I want to see By you holding glide. A. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. You poof. <laughs> you poof. I think I fart. What? No, I think you're poofing. Do you hear that sound? I thought it was like you squeaking like a balloon. I'm, I mean, tur I'm turning the TV up. Hang on. Do you really think there's that much difference between the sound of a balloon and a fart? <laughs> it just sounds like you're poofing up and inflating and just losing. We'll go with that. They can be farts if you want. No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> what very... you're describing sounds exactly like a fart. <laughs> Looking at your big floofed up cat is extremely funny, though. I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> float, float, bob. Uh, Kerplunk. All right. Well, that's another skill we need. Now we just need the oh. double jump, glide, and double jump, glide, and the zip line. 
which I don't think we have yet. Well, I don't think we, do we No, 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 we don't have a zip line yet. This? I don't think we can. It does look like something we could... No. <laughs> Wait, I, I... Hmm. I was lighting things up back there somehow, but I guess I that was actually you. I think it's our double jump. It's like, yeah. Yeah, illuminating. Anyway, let's go talk to our other buddy and see if they have any idea where we can encounter a walrus. Yes. Where would we find a walrus? Hmm. If I were a walrus, I would live somewhere cold. And also probably where I could eat seals. Don't walruses eat seals? You know? No, maybe walrus just eat fishes. They might just eat fishes. Do you know? What do walrus eat? Oh, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No, it, it was already sold. But how? Walrus. Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Uh -huh. Of course. Of course it was her. Uh -huh. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistic, patronizing Ooh. charlatan. Dang. She calls herself the collector, if you can believe it. She doesn't even collect anything. I mean... Oh, I'm sure she bought the print <laughs> only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. That ugly-ass sack face. <gasps> well, I'm not one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. Uh -huh. Rude! I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spirit fairer made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit fairer. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> uh, you're a jerk? She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. Minus 150, 150. Uh -huh. Pair of visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Uh -huh. This? Oh, do not worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. <laughs> huh. I don't know. I think you might be a mean bird. You a might big, be a mean bird. A big mean bird. Do you know what I do to big mean birds? You jump That's in... Right, I run away from them very fast because they are big. <laughs> because, oh goodness, I love how you poof so much. <laughs> so big. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Fleeing in terror. In poofy terror. <laughs> oh, oh no, Augusta Wing. <laughs> Birds are scary. <laughs> I do like the thought that if Daffodil sort of poofs up in terror at something, you might actually just sort of fly away in a gust. <laughs> like a tumbleweed. <laughs> Daffodil the tumbleweed. That sounds about right. It does. Do we have new mail here? Is this just a... Oh, we do. Ooh, a, letter a letter from, from Albert. Albert. The shark, yes? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Okay. Tooth friend. Air draft. Uh... Dear valued customer, we're running a special promotion. <gasps> Encloses a new type of building. All part of our new Funtacular series, an air draft device. It's we hope you enjoy your time soaring through the air. Albert, then, your local shipwright. Then we can do gusts of wind on the boat. Oh, yeah. A little shortcut up to the top floor. And also probably useful for when we do glim gathering. Oh, yeah, it would be. Stuff like that. That would help a lot. Okay, I'm going to... Well, it's late. We can't really set course. So I'll do some chores, and then I guess we can go to bed. And, uh... Start heading toward those coordinates. Yeah. Minus 150, 50. Chic. The great thing will be if both of them... If that walrus lady is running because they know that uh, she knows the spirit fair is coming, I'm guessing that means she is herself also a spirit who, like... I think all of the people we interact with are spirits. I guess it's true. probably she's a spirit who is in need of spirit fairing. Quite possibly. So we might get both of them on the boat. But not at the same time. Well, possibly. Hopefully. That could be interesting. Ye. Hey, Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. Good to see you, Gwen. High five. Gwen, Gwen. Boyfriend. Yes. Oh. <sighs> All right. You. Let's go do a snooze. Okay. Gwen, please keep an eye on the boat for us. We're tired so tired. I've had a long day of yelling at birds. <laughs> and poofing. <laughs> yes. Is it? Could it be? It is indeed. The morning time? Huh, usually there's not like a full animation there in the morning. Mm, I think you usually move before there. No, oh, like it wasn't even letting me. Oh, wow. Yeah, or maybe that's always happening oh, and I just don't oh, wait. Oh, wait. remember things. Yay, good morning, everyone. <laughs> yes. You must all awaken at my call. <laughs> the cat says so. <laughs> Cats okay. love to have the power of waking others up. Let's see. 
They love to have it. They love to use it. Hey, look, there's a shark. There's a shark. Well, I think it's just a fish. But maybe that's the kind of fish we need. Uh, 150, 150. Oh, sorry, you're reaching for a, shark. a shark. Hang on. Get the bag. There's a shark. <laughs> oh, dear. I've bought a bag of episode interruptions. Um, nom, nom, so nom, it was nom, minus nom, 150, 150, yes? Minus 150, 150. So... Oh. Okay, going up, 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 up. Okay. Oh my. Uh, there about. There we go. That's where we're going. We can go to places we haven't. Apparently. Seen yet? That's a silly thing to say out loud. <laughs> no boats can only go to places boats have seen before. That's the thing about boats. <laughs> Nobody okay. tells you about how boats can't go to places boats haven't been. No, it, it's it's a thought that was like, in video game logic, it's not a completely ridiculous thought. Because <laughs> that usually they've had like, they've exposed the existence of new locations as we've gotten within a certain radius of them. So it would stand to reason that you'd have to visit a place nearby at first to get it to pop up in your map. Right. And, yeah. Like fog of war stuff usually means yeah, you exactly. can't go there unless you've seen it. I, I say, but then again, I have played Civilization a lot over the years, and you can absolutely walk straight into the fog of war. That's true. Oh, <laughs> right, ice, right. <laughs> Still no, ice. No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, there's stuff on our boat. Guess I shouldn't stop the boat trip. I do all the time. <laughs> I guess that's true. It's like my job. <laughs> I interrupt things, you know? I should cook something. We need a greater food variety around here. We have a lobster now. I feel like that's new. Uh, Check and see if that's something we need to give to Angus first. Uh, I think I need to... I think we need to see... I don't think it's Angus. Uh, I think we need to... I don't know why we can't remember their name ever. Francis. Uh, I think... I don't know why I always go for Angus. <laughs> uh... I need to... We need to see them first uh, before we give them anything. But I can make pork chops, finally! It's gonna be so happy. Oh, hey! We found boxes randomly in the snow. Oh, hey! Crates. There we go. There's no boxes like snow boxes. <laughs> Very good. Like snow boxes, I know. Cotton seeds. Very Linen. snowy. And overcast. I like it. I think there's a special I, weather condition right now. Like that green up there. Ooh, is that like northern lights or something? I like ah, it's the gone snow. Now. I like it. I really do. Quite a bit. <sighs> it's pretty. Wait, I want to glide. glide. I did not do that well. <laughs> I did not glide well at all. <laughs> Foop. <laughs> every cat animation is my favorite one. <laughs> and every time we find a new one, I just love it all the more. <laughs> we, we... <laughs> Come on, up, up, up the ladder. Like a leaf on the wind. Yes. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me foop. <laughs> <laughs> like a puffer fish. Yeah. I amuse myself. And me. <laughs> Good. Because you're stuck with me, so. And ostensibly, we are playing this while recorded to amuse someone. Oh, right. Hopefully someone's amused. Did the tools pork chops finish up yet? Uh, nope. looks like they're still going. Goodness. I'm but he's waited like two months at this yeah. point, so I figure <laughs> another I, minute or two. I held off on feeding him just in case. Yeah, don't ruin your appetite, buddy. Sweet summer. Sorry about the snow, summer. I think we've arrived. <gasps> Ooh, Susan's oh. museum. Fascinating. Very. 
Your island's a lamp. <laughs> a conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Astrid, I hug you. Hug. Let's see. Grilled fish. Doo -doo -doo. You had that fisherman's pie. Did I take all these? Ah, I did. Dog on it. I gotta stop doing that. Okay. Uh, What'd you do? I just keep on thinking that I can like. Oh, you grabbed it when it was not done. Yeah, I keep on thinking I can take like some out, but no, it's like it's gotta cook all the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I will. Just put in one. Eh, yeah. He only wants one, right? That's true. Because then it won't take so long. But we're about to go out to the island, mm -hmm. so that'll probably pass some time. That's fair. Everyone has been hugged and fed. Fantastic. Except for a tool's feeding, and I don't know where Alice is. I haven't seen her yet today. Alice, oh, oh there you are. Hello. H hanging near the kitchen, I guess. How you doing? You're not hungry. Could use a hug, though. <gasps> hug. You'd love it. Oh. oh, that was very nice. <laughs> Yay. All right, let's check out this weird island. Let us see what this lamp actually is. I know we could change colors, but I'm kind of Why? settled into this for now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, nice. Well recovered. <laughs> Why, hello, look at you. Oh, goodness. You're fabulous. You look amazing. You're not as cool as Alex, but you're close. Quite cool. I hope you don't need Alex. <laughs> Oh, great. Just mm. fantastic. The spirit fair is here. Mm. On this god's forsaken rock. Now listen, it's your rock. In the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. She came all the way over here. Mm -hmm. She saw the cold, <laughs> steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. Uh -huh. She saw all of that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcomed here. <laughs> well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. <laughs> Let me run the old tape for you. Oh. Ahem. Mm -hmm. Spiritfarer, whose name I don't know, nor care to know, I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the gods, in all their materialistic arrogance, have played a cruel trick on me. Hmm. You see, I am the Collector not by choice, but by duty. Mm -hmm. Through your ceaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders, you will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with, well, more junk. Hmm. What irony, is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do with, to do who knows what with. But the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. Mm -hmm. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together, grab your meaningless reward, and leave. Mm -hmm. Quickly. Wow. And pick up after yourself. Okay. I promise to not. You have a nice space, though. I like your lamp island. <laughs> You seem sleepy. <laughs> In true cat fashion, <laughs> it would be a shame if something were to happen to these bottles. Push. Push. It would push. be a shame if it... <laughs> uh, cruel irony. <laughs> For the cat that was knocked off the ledge. <laughs> it's really pretty much exactly what I... <laughs> You all right down there? <laughs> uh, let's hear a little more from you. What do you want? Get on with it already. Oh, okay. Aren't you curious about this figurine? Collections. Uh, I have a ceramic figurine and another two of them, in fact. I guess we found figurine. another one somewhere that I forgot all about. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of fish, if you want to fish. And... Hmm. Oh, okay, so we've got two out of four figurines collected. At one of them, we get a reward, which is the wood block. Awesome. Uh -huh. uh, at nine fish, we get a reward. Awesome. At uh, we've we've got a lot of rewards to start claiming. Cool. Not for medals, clearly, but for let's most of the other stuff. There's 91 dishes. Rewards. Woo, boy. Let's get rewards. Yeah. Yes, let's start yes, with yes. Uh, the the I thing. I want things. Acquisitions fun. Well, let's see. What have you got now? Greedy cat. Greedy Looks cat. like some kind of. What? Why? <laughs> 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 
Why, in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful, do you carry this horrible thing around? You can't talk about me like that! It, <laughs> it is not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. Fine. But, wait, I recognize this. Oh. Oh, no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an individual. Mm -hmm. He sent you here, didn't he? Yes! What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's a weasel? He's mad about losing his precious little woodprint, isn't he? Well, now he's never going to see it again, I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about asceticism. And for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is... Let's see. No, this can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Is it? Is well, it the painting? All right, just take it. Take the bloody wood print. Go back to the blabbering <laughs> fool. Just, just take anything you want and get out of my sight. <laughs> I'm hiding. Are you hiding? Yes, I'm out of her sight. <laughs> Got it. She can't see me here. Let's get some more rewards. Uh. Let's see. Ooh, a blackberry outfit for getting more of the figurines. Yeah. Neat. Uh, all right, we get a reward for this. Mm. How exciting. You've started collecting a new type of junk. <laughs> this time, it's fish. <laughs> they smell bad, and they're all terribly ugly, yet <laughs> you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They are slippery little bastards. <laughs> Hematite. She's amazing. Yeah, I quite like her, actually. <laughs> Hematite smelts into iron, doesn't it? Oh, does it? Cool. Good? Yes. Um. I'm... I'm pulling that from memories of a different game. Makes for a great deforming armor. So, that's deforming good. Deforming mirror. Oh, or that. Sorry, I've... I've had a mental day. Um, <laughs> claim reward! Mm -hmm. Broken, shiny rocks. Maybe it's armor you can really see yourself in. <laughs> That's very good. Very good. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep you, Spiritfarer. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the way, who even came up with such a ridiculous sounding name as Spiritfarer? It sounds terrible. It doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. <laughs> Susan the Collector. <laughs> I really like her. <laughs> I hate her. I love her. In equal measure. She's mean to you and I want her to stop, but she's so funny. <laughs> she's really funny. Thanks for love the necklace. It. And finally, of course. Uh, oh, well, not finally. Oh, no, yes, finally. Uh, Astroneer. That's the game that you use hematite to make iron. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Halfway th there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such mortal things. It figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. <laughs> you got it. That's all the rewards. We're going to go back to our boat now. Whee! Nice meeting you. <laughs> now we're all wet. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're all wet. That's true. I'm perfectly dry. Your obble's all wet, though. Your obble's all wet. Two facts, I guess. Nothing wrong with a dampened obble. A tool. We have pork. Oh, you're asleep, aren't you? No, no, wait. It's not bedtime yet. You're awake. Pork. And we have pork chops. Pork. For you. You've pork for been the atoll. So He's patient. Here. Oh, wait. There you are. Yeah. Still awake? Good. Because if I got a thing for you. <gasps> a tool. It's pork chops. We found a pig for you, Lala, Lala. Pork chops. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I'm so excited. They look so damn tasty, and they are. Sprout, you're a miracle. You know that. Oh, this is just so good. He's so cute. Ha! Now I feel just a bit guilty. For eating a pig. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work, Craig. We used to have this, these long and tight union negotiations. All-nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. <laughs> I would ask for these impossible gets. Saffron, sumac, even anise. 
It was something like two o'clock in the morning. Oh. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone. On both sides of the table. Oh. To calm heads and to appease stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. Oh. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, maybe he did. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Sprout. It broke you made it taste house. like home. Here's to you and Craig. Oh yay. Aww. And he's gonna go nap now, cause it's nighttime. It is sleepy time. Oh, the water fills up and he's all like, hmm. <gasps> Look at our full and happy atoll. Yay. Sweet what? dreams, bud. You have a good night's rest. Mm -hmm. I will not stand outside your door and <laughs> That's for the best. <laughs> Endlessly. We gotta wrap it up for the day anyway. Y'all, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time when we go and probably take this wood thing back to that friend and get another boat occupant. We got lots of room. So. Occupant. Yes. Yes. A new occupant. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time. And, of course, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <coughs>